Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing the renewed shape catalog in Techless Structures 2021. The following key points will be covered. We're going to provide an overview of the new shape catalog and discuss its features and capabilities. And we'll also briefly discuss how to manage and distribute your shape catalog that has been customized to your entire user base using a firm folder. So now, let's begin. The shape catalog is a repository for all shapes available for you to use in creating items. Shapes are commonly used with formwork and masonry tools, hardware and lifters for precasts and tilt up, as well as a few other applications. The shape catalog can always be accessed through either the file menu, catalogs, shape catalog, or by pressing the ellipsis or three dot button associated with the item's shape field in the properties pane. Now, for managing your shape catalog, it's recommended that you do so through the file menu for the full feature access. For those familiar with the previous shape catalog, opening it up in Techless Structures 2021 presents an overhauled user interface with a nice fresh coat of paint. The dialog more closely resembles that of our rebar catalog, with ribbon commands up at the top for easy to find functions such as import and export tools, selecting multiple shapes at once, as well as the search function. The renewed shape catalog also provides the ability to place items in folders and subfolders that we call groups. This feature has been added to reduce the tedium of scrolling through a single list of dozens or even hundreds of shapes and to provide a level of organization. The left side pane provides access to these groups. Users can also create their own groups and subgroups to organize their shapes as they see fit and can do so from the tool ribbon up at the top. Keep in mind that by default, all items are found in the ungrouped group. Shapes in the catalog can be simply selected and then dragged and dropped into a group for better organization. Groups and the ability to organize by drag and drop provides a large quality of life improvement in shape usability for those who rely on them for even a portion or the bulk of their modeling task. But we can take this a step further by adding metadata, tagging, and starring of shapes. When selecting a shape, the dialog opens an additional pane on the right-hand side that provides access to the details and metadata associated for each shape. The name of a shape, its solidity, the source, as well as its GUID are dictated during item creation. However, users can add additional data to shapes as needed in the provided fields. The metadata is also displayed in the appropriate column in the shape catalog proper, and these columns can be turned on and off via the show columns dropdown in the ribbon above. Additionally, users can also tag shapes. Tags can be accessed on the right-hand pane, and selecting a tag will display all shapes associated with it. You can select multiple shapes at once before applying a single tag to help expedite tagging. This further lends to the flexibility of organization and quick access to shapes. Similar to tags, shapes can also be starred as favorites and then easily found in the starred group. You can use this feature to isolate more commonly used shapes used in your modeling process. The new features of the shape catalog really provides users the ability to reinvent how they manage and use shapes and items in their models. For those who rely heavily on them, such as former providers, masons, and precasters, these features will be an excellent quality of life improvement. It's important to note that when customizing the shape catalog with groups and tags using the new features, these edits are initially only saved to your local computer, specifically just the model. However, as with shape files themselves, the catalog organization can be saved in our company or firm folder, providing consistent access to all of your users and all of your models. To do so is pretty simple. We just need to know where to find the configuration file that controls the groups. But before we do that, there are a few things we should ensure to do. First, establishing settings of this nature should be done in a blank model created in, by the template you most commonly use. Ensure that you are pointing to your firm folder and have access to all of its resources, including any shapes you house there. Lastly, as stated before, customizing the organization of the shape catalog should be done by accessing it through the file menu. Once you've created your groups, tagged your shapes with any data pertinent to you, and then placed them in the appropriate groups, ensure that you save your changes at the top left. 
From here, we can proceed to finding the saved file that controls the groups and moving it to the appropriate firm folder location. The excellent part is the file we need, which is named shapecatalog.groups.user.yourusername.xml, is saved directly into the model folder. Just open up the model folder itself and sort by date modified. This should provide easy access in finding the shape catalog that was just saved. We will now cut, not copy, but cut to remove this file, and we are going to paste it in the correct location in our firm folder. If you store custom shapes in your firm folder, you will already have the appropriate subfolders needed to place this file. If not, however, you can easily create them. Once in your firm folder, create the folder called Profil all lowercase letters. Inside that folder, create two more additional folders, one named Shapes and one named Shape Geometries. The first letter of each word is capitalized, but there are no spaces between Shape and Geometries. Open up the Shapes folder and then paste the group file in that location. Once it's there, verify that it has been removed from its original location. Then, we need to rename it so that it is unique and doesn't refer to any one specific user. For example, company name.shapecatalog.groups.xml. Now, so long as you or any user in your company is pointed to your firm folder, your custom groups and tags will always be present in the Shape Catalog. Keep in mind, if you don't immediately see these changes in an existing model, save the model and then reopen it. They should appear in the catalog at that point. Lastly, if you need to make any changes to your Shape Catalog's organization, you will need to make your edits, save, and then repeat this process to overwrite the file in your firm folder. This concludes our early look at the renewed Shape Catalog coming to Tecla Structures 2021. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed in this video or for other topics, make sure to visit our Tecla User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.